Overwatch kind of blows, daring opinion, I know, but I'd like to explain my stance a bit. When Overwatch originally released in 2016, people thought this game hit the peak of its popularity. You could hop in, play whatever hero you wanted, and have a fun time with your teammates trying to capture a point or push an objective. Over the years, support for the game waned, and people who once liked the game were alienated by either balancing changes made to the characters, characters who were introduced, and or just general disinterest and burnout over time. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I didn't play Overwatch during this time period. And I didn't truly pick up the game until like December 2019. And despite the meta at the time, I found myself enjoying Overwatch overall. It was just a really fun time, and for $20, I definitely got my money's worth. However, after some self-reflection, I've come to realize that I've never actually played Overwatch. See, Overwatch is a team-based FPS game most comparable to something like TF2. But for the sake of this video, I'll be comparing it to CSGO, only because I've never really sat down and played TF2 normally. In a game like CSGO, teamwork matters. A team that works together to accomplish a task is the one that will win nine times out of ten. That one time being the exception where someone on the other team could just suddenly frag the fuck out for whatever reason. That doesn't happen in Overwatch. Instead, the teamwork factor is turned up to ten because if you do not work together, you will lose. End of. There's a lot of strategy that goes into swapping out characters to counter others. If there's a fire on the other team and you don't have a hitscan DPS, someone might want to swap. If your tanks are Hog and D.Va and you're playing into a team that has two shields, you might also need to get some shields or characters that do well against shields to counter that team. These are all great strategies that I never participated in. Instead of actually engaging in and playing Overwatch, I instead played a game I like to call Balverwatch. If you haven't already guessed what I mean, Balverwatch centers around one single character, Wrecking Ball. I don't really understand it myself, but playing ball is the only way I can actually enjoy playing Overwatch with my friends, and I truly mean only with friends. Playing Overwatch by myself is one of the most boring things I could imagine doing right now. It's definitely a game that needs friends to really enjoy. Wrecking Ball is interesting to me because of the way he plays. He's a character unlike all of the others in the sense that he's truly focused around movement. Choosing to play him, and only him, feels like you're playing a completely different game. While on the surface I technically have seven other tanks to choose from, Balverwatch has just one character. You either fit your playstyle around your team, or lose, and I like it like that. Cry about it all you want, call me a terrible teammate, beg me to switch to a different hero, but that's all a part of the fun of my game. If God intended for me to play other heroes in this game, he would have made them fun to play. Ball is fun because of his movement. I'm literally a ball, but the twist is that I have a grapple hook to swing around structures at the leisure of my five second cooldown. And this swinging isn't half baked either. I have momentum and opportunities to do extra damage if I'm actually good at using my grapple. My ground pound allows me to stun enemies in the air and do extra damage with my guns, and after entering a fight, if I get overwhelmed, I can press E, get like 500 extra health in shields, and just exit the battle. This doesn't even begin to touch on the extra tech locked behind the skill ceiling of Ball. Obviously, I'm not claiming to know everything about Wrecking Ball, or that I'm even good at the character. I'm not, trust me. I just claim to know what's fun about the character, and that's what matters to me. I realize that there's a lot of people out there who consider Overwatch a competitive game, be it in the actual competitive game mode, or the few that take quick play way too seriously. But I don't think Overwatch was really ever meant to be a competitive game. I know that from a development perspective, that's what the dev team wanted from the game, but Overwatch isn't fun when you take it seriously, at least not for me. I have fun fucking around with my friends. Obviously winning is more fun than not winning, but actually taking the game seriously to the point of taking the time to swap characters to counter a McCree, a Mei, or the fucking devil herself isn't something I want to do. I take those characters as an extra challenge in Balverwatch, a higher difficulty, if you will, and that's fun to me. I enjoy my friends yelling at me that I suck ass at this game, or that I should switch characters. It makes my night interesting and is the incentive for me to play better. That's not even mentioning how interesting to me Ball actually is. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that something I love in video games is when something has a skill ceiling. Be it an ability, a weapon, or mechanics of the game, whenever a game includes the opportunity to completely change how you view it over time because you've improved, I eat that shit up. It's no different for Balverwatch. The shit I've seen done in videos by the best players of this character are things I never thought possible. Double boops, triple boops, wall bounces, hopping off of your own grapple to get enough air to slam. All of these are amazing applications of the character that sets apart someone who plays him at a base level and someone who plays him religiously. So at the end of the day, do I think every single person should join me in playing Ball Overwatch? Yes, obviously, but only when I'm not in the game because I need to play ball. Don't lock me out. Should people play ball the same way I do though? No. 
If you have fun taking Overwatch seriously, don't let me stop you. Just maybe tone it down in quick play. At the end of the day, this is the opinion of some dude who barely plays Overwatch. And when he does, only plays it with friends for fun. That's the whole point of Overwatch. Me having fun with a game I otherwise wouldn't enjoy. Also, I don't really know where to put this, but here's a clip of Yeetle saying my name because I'm a huge fanboy. Can you say hi to my friend Strixo? He's a ball player and he's your biggest fan. Yeah, what up Strixo? Whoa! So true, Yeetle. Thank you so much. Now, all I have left to do in Overwatch is wait for Overwatch 2 to come out, if it ever does, and see what happens with my favorite stupid little hamster. Considering Overwatch 2 seems to just be literally Overwatch, but again, and with only five person teams instead of six, I have absolutely zero expectations. And at this point, whatever they reveal will be better than what I expect, which is literally nothing. So good luck Overwatch 2 devs, you're really gonna need it. All right, that's all I had to say about Overwatch. Subscribe if you haven't already and click on the end screen to take you to another video.